Today is an exciting video because it is a brand that was recommended by several of you all many times before. Big Bud Press is an LA-based sustainable ethical clothing line that is also size inclusive. Mwah, we love it. It is also gender inclusive in a lot of their items. So I love that. I'm all about that branding. I'm all about that life. When I did my video on Lucy and Yak, which is a similar brand that's based in the UK, since that brand was also sort of gender inclusive in a lot of their items, so many people were like, why didn't you have your boyfriend try on those clothes? I want to see what he looked like in them as well. So I have corralled him into this idea. We are not the exact same size. We differ in sizes, but I thought it might be nice to give you a little bit of a perspective on what it would look like on two different genders. So I ordered, I believe, five different outfits that each of us are gonna try on. Here's the thing. I'm just gonna give like my quick little disclaimer. Shopping sustainably can be expensive, especially when you're looking into brands that pay their workers living wages, you know, things like that. Some of these items are in like the affordable range and then some of them are pretty pricey. We'll go over it as we go along. I wasn't able to get all of the items I want because like a lot, of sustainable fashion, it's slow fashion. The production isn't like massive. It takes a bit longer and a little bit more care goes into making the items. So a lot of the items can be sold out. So I would say probably like 80% of what I wanted on the website was sold out, but that's kind of the luck of the draw. You know, sometimes you catch it on a day where there's pretty much nothing available and then sometimes you get lucky. Let's try on the first outfit because I literally can't wait any longer. Okay, so here we have look number one. This is the first thing that I put together. I'm gonna grab the sheet just so I make sure I'm saying the correct names because we know me and how I butcher things. So first up on top here we have the vintage off-white thermal. I got this in a size extra large. It was $45. It is extremely good quality. I can already tell. It's got that great thermal material right here up front. It just feels really nice and cozy. I got it in an XL because I like to size up. I just wanted it to be a bit more like loose and oversized and flowy and then these Shorts. These are the shorts of my dreams. They are called the lightweight sweat shorts in the color spicy mustard. I got these in an XL as well. These were $54, so a bit pricey. I mean, if we're being honest, for sweat shorts. However, the color is amazing. This is such a cute loungewear outfit. And the thing that I was personally drawn to is the fact that the length of these shorts is so much better than a lot of the loungy sets that I see. Just because as a mid-size plus size gal, I like to be able to wear shorts that don't chafe to the high heavens when I wear them. So these are completely pulled up, like super high-waisted above my belly button. I'm not chafing in between the legs, like at all whatsoever. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know that I will go off about chafing. It's the worst thing in the entire world. I will do absolutely anything to avoid it. So the fact that I can wear shorts like this in a cute little lounge set and not have to worry about chafing is amazing. I love this length. But if you prefer to wear your shorts a little bit lower, like I'm sure Drew will, they will be kind of more like towards his knees, like that length. And I think that it'll look so cute on both of us. So I guess the next thing we have to do is call Drew up here, get him to try this on and see what it looks like on him. But here is what it looks like on me. Dun, da, da, da. We have our first outfit. All right, we know you're honest. So let's mm -hmm. hear your honest thoughts. What do you think? I heard, well, you showed me this. I did show you the items before you yeah. put them on, but I, this is your first time wearing. I do like this. I really do like this. I don't know. Like texture? thermal is what they call it? Yeah. yeah. And I really like these shorts. Yeah, I think that the shorts are definitely like, you should go a size down. <laughs> yeah. I, we're a little different tight. in the bottoms department, but I like they also, look really good. Like the in, the inseam is very long. Yeah, I think they're meant to be worn like a little more up on the waist, but I think I mentioned that, that like you. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't. <laughs> really hot. I, oh, thank you. I really yeah. like the shorts. Yeah. I, I think they're nice. Yeah, we were just saying off camera that like we're definitely gonna have to order him some like but in a smaller size. Like you need to go down to a large, but they still fit like even yeah. when you tie them tight, mm -hmm. like they still fit. Yeah, they still fit. You. But they are lightweight, I will say, yeah. like for a sweat. They're not like super, super fuzzy on the inside. No, they're not fuzzy so they at are all. comfy. But that looks really good on you. Yeah. All right, here we have the next look. You guys, okay. 
I wasn't sure how to feel about this when I first put it on, but I love this. Here's the thing, and this is what sort of first came to mind when I was thinking about ordering these trousers, which I'll get into. I am not a wide leg pant kind of person. I think because I spent my entire life trying to make myself seem smaller and I would only wear skinny jeans and I was afraid of anything wide leg because why would I want to make my legs look bigger than they are? But now I just don't care. Why should people my size or larger be denied to wear a trend when like it's cute as hell. Look at these pants. So starting up top, this t-shirt is called the 70s Stripe Tee in the color Margot. I got this in a size large because I knew I wanted it to be tucked in and I just wanted it to be slightly more fitted than like I would a band tee or something like that. And then for these pants, these are called the trousers. These are literally just called their trousers. They are in the color Fudge Sickle Brown and they are in an extra large. What I love, love about these is that they have an extremely stretchy waistband here. I've tried other brands that have a kind of like more tailored trouser look and they're very cute but the top is extremely tight. There's absolutely no give in the waist and with these they are so stretchy. I probably could even size down to a large if I want to but these are very comfortable and I'm totally gonna keep this size. So just keep that in mind if you're ordering you are gonna have some stretch and it's incredible. I will say the only kind of like critique I have is if you have a longer torso like I do and you want to wear them extremely high waisted then you might suffer from a little bit of like crotch wedgie action but you know what that's okay we're embracing it. I think these make my butt look really cute. I was kind of worried about looking like grandma-ish. Also my shirt is probably like really bunched up back there. Whatever, you get the point. But also like we love a grandma butt around here. Like grandma butt squad, where are you at? I'm here, you're captain. And like, this is just so cute. I can not wait to see Drew in this. I'm going to be so attracted to him. I know it already. I feel like a bad bitch right now. Just being honest. I wish I could have been recording <laughs> when you put the pants on because you were like, oh no, oh no. They're just not his size. No, I like, typically wear like fitted yeah. pants. He's like the skinty jeans king. So this is like so outside of your comfort zone. I will say, and what we were saying before we turned the camera on, like it doesn't look bad. It's just mm, not your just style. Not, I don't feel at comfortable all. in it. Yeah. I like the shirt. But the shirt, yeah, looks great. So yeah, what would you would you wear that shirt? Like I your, would wear the shirt. The, um, pants no. Yeah, pants are definitely a hard no. Wide leg pants are just a no for me. Yeah, general. like you look cute. What did you say you thought you looked like? I looked like a, like a paper boy <laughs> in the 1930s. <laughs> I just like need a hat. This was probably a bad experiment. I bet you if I jumped off of our roof, I'd <laughs> blow it down. Just parachute. Yeah. Okay, it's cute, but maybe just not necessarily your style. No. But like, you, you look good. Thank you. Welcome, but let's try something oh, else. Sure. <laughs> Next up, we have this little yellow number, which is so good. The pair of pants that we tried on previously were the trousers, and these are called the work pants. I got these in yellow. These are $85 as well. And I'm not gonna lie, this wasn't exactly the top I wanted with it, but it was the only one that they had available in my size that matched with these pants at all whatsoever. But they had a shirt with lemons on it that I really wanted, and a few other ones as well. They had like some really, really cute kind of like vintage baseball tees, but those weren't available. So I picked this one up. This is just they call it the varsity tee. It's an off-white and I believe it was $40. Just kidding, it was $35. So it's just kind of a basic. I got this in a size large as well just because I knew I wanted to tuck it in. These pants again have the same exact stretch in the back which is just so amazing. I'm so happy. I can't believe that there's finally a brand that listens to like consumers and knows, hey, you know, we don't want to have pants digging into the sides of our waist. That doesn't feel good, especially if you're working with material that isn't very stretchy, but it makes it just so much more comfortable and enjoyable. And I did go by the sizing chart for this video. I know a lot of people come for me and they say, you need to read a sizing chart and measure yourself. I did. However, I do think that I could size down to a large as well if I wanted to, but I always just when I'm feeling a little bit unsure size up. It's a lot easier to take something in than, you know, 
make up more fabric out of nowhere but honestly these feel very comfortable just like the last ones i do think that these are a great size for me there's belt loops as well so if i felt like making it just a slight bit tighter i could totally belt it but look i can't believe that i love these these are just such a departure from my normal style but i've just been loving like playing around with color playing around with different aspects of clothing more masculine pieces more feminine pieces and just learning that like clothing really doesn't have gender i'm really looking forward to to seeing what this is gonna look like on Drew because I've never seen him wear yellow, I think, ever. So this is gonna be really exciting and fun. So let's see what it looks like on him. <laughs> All right, Here big yellow. school bus. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's start with the obvious in that they're way too big for you. Like, just yeah. not your size. No, and I mean, sure, like if you like this style mm -hmm. or whatever, I, I don't. That's... It's not your thing. I would say this is more of like a, you go to LA coffee shops to write your script type of vibe on a typewriter and you're just not that and that's totally fine but this is just definitely not your style this is probably the biggest departure from your style that I've ever seen I think it looks good like like if you just look at it objectively on you like the pants look good just because they're not your style doesn't mean you know that they're not good it's just not what you would personally wear honestly like my pants are like this like my <laughs> they jeans usually are yeah or like this mm -hmm. i could make yeah. two pairs of pants i know that, that. i wear with it's these. just not your style it's not. but it's no you know, i think you look really cute and then the shirt's fine yeah it makes me look tanner it wasn't yeah that's true it wasn't like the one that i wanted i wanted one that was had lemons on it and I then just, like, it was like a baseball i team, like but this i like the, the, seam. the seam yeah it's cute it looks good on you i mean you'll wear it maybe not the pants no, 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 no. Next, we have something that we have just completely departed from my comfort zone. We have just blown right past it. We are in absolute uncharted territory. And this is one of the reasons that I wanted to purchase from this brand. This is one of their work suits. This is the long sleeve version. It's in the color olive green. I believe it's called their everyday jumpsuit. And when I saw this on the website, I was like, this is what sold me basically to make me want to make this video because it's just so unique and different. I don't know how I feel about it on me. Like the biggest part of me is really feeling it. It fits great. I ordered it in a size extra large. The only downside of this item is that it's $180. So very expensive, arguably the most expensive thing in my closet. This clothing haul and creating this video was not cheap, but I really wanted to after getting so many requests, like try it out for you guys, let you sort of know what my thoughts and opinions were on it. The quality feels really amazing. I'm really, really curious more than anything to see what these last two items look like on Drew. So let's see how he feels about wearing a jumpsuit, something he's never done in his entire life. All right, he's here to paint, I'm everybody. <laughs> you probably need to size down. Actually, I, I don't know. No, because the inseam is... It's pretty high-waisted. It's getting pretty close. <laughs> They're separated, <laughs> if you know what I mean. A little close for comfort. <laughs> I don't think it looks bad on you, honestly. Like, if you wore your docks with it or something. Like, I actually think this I would be a look. Know. This is just it's so heavy. Yeah, it's a very like heavy duty, non stretchy material. I think all of the pants are. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> That's not for you guys. <laughs> what do you think? Um, yeah, the sleeves are way too short. They're short, though. yeah. Oh, I have like, when I got for eighth grade promotion, I went to like Macy's to get like a dress shirt, and the guy measured me, and he told me I had weird proportions. He said something about my proportions. My arms are longer Super than long. they should be, oh. like for my torso length. Okay. So I was like, you do. <laughs> Maybe that's part of why, but either way, I I really I like. I feel like I'm on you. in the show Misfits. There's were orange, but oh yeah, I think this is one of my favorite ones on you, actually. Really? Yeah, I really like it. No. Maybe you'll wear it in the future. Who knows? Probably no. not. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, we have this little number here, which was a close call. I'm not gonna lie, I'll talk about it in a minute, but this is called the short sleeve jumpsuit. It's in the color baby blue. It's a size extra large and it was $172. Wow. 
if you were gonna be wearing it quite often, like maybe at your work or you live somewhere colder and you wanted to like layer it or if this was just your style and you see yourself getting a ton of wear out of this, I think it's a good option. But yeah, that price point, I, I'm having a hard time like even spitting it out. When I was ordering it, I saw the total in my cart for this entire order and I almost threw up. But as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you know, when you're shopping sustainable, you're supporting a small business, you're supporting living wages, for their workers, you're supporting ethical and sustainable and size inclusive fashion, which is so, so rare. So that's something to keep in mind, but yeah, I mean, very, very expensive. So, okay, we almost had a disaster with this. The zipper actually got caught right here, but it wasn't caught on anything. It just like wouldn't go up. I had to sit here for like 10 minutes and sort of mess with it. And I did finally get it up, but I just thought I would mention that. It's completely fine now. And I've done it a couple more times since then. So I don't know, maybe it was just like snagged on something, even though I didn't see anything. But yeah, we have the short sleeve version. I forgot to mention that these come with snaps, which are just life changing. So we have a snap and then it zips up or down. So it's very comfortable. It sits very high waisted. So I'll be really curious to see how Drew feels about that because he wears everything super low rise. That's his vibe, that's his deal. And this color is just so fun. I feel like it really brings out my eyes. I don't know. Do you think so? Love the bright color. They have so many other colors available. They have red, pink, brown, black, white, all sorts of different patterns. I wasn't able to get my hands on any of those because they were sold out in my size, but I did get my hands on this one. I'm gonna have to play around with it and see how I would style it. If you have any suggestions, let me know down below. But this is just so different. Like this one and the last one, all of these really, besides the first outfit are such a departure from my usual style, but that's why I wanted to try it because I wanted to support a brand that is all about gender inclusivity, wearing clothes just because they're cute, not because they're gendered or specifically marketed towards one gender. And just like having fun and playing with color and just being carefree and wearing clothes that are good for the planet. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm just so about it. So yeah, I don't know. We're gonna see what the critic thinks of this last one. Because if you couldn't tell already, he is very honest about his opinions. And that is why we love him. We have to stand. Last but not least. I feel like, you know, like <laughs> when like your parents made you wear something you didn't want to wear for like a family photo. And you like had to pretend you liked it. I don't, I don't like this. There's yeah. a band that runs yeah. around, mm -hmm. elastic band, and I don't, I'm not used to having things Yeah, what'd decide. you say when you were? I feel like it's an unwanted hug. <laughs> That's when you it's said like off camera like, when we were trying it on. Like this? And you're like, oh. You can appreciate it for what it is, even yeah. though it's not your style. I've, I've never, putting on these clothes, I haven't been like, oh, that's like girls wear that. Right. No, it's just anyone can, but I just don't it's like it. It's not your it. style. No. Yeah. I like all. it on you though. I like I the honestly... shirts and the little, the shorts. Yeah, I think there will be pieces that like we can both share, and then there will be pieces that like, will probably just be for me. these but... down so they're I know, not I'm used to like waist. a more low waist on YouTube. Can't all be winners, but some were cute. I don't know. Let us know which ones were your fave, but I don't, it's not bad. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If there are any other sustainable clothing brands that you wanna see me try on that are size inclusive, definitely let me know in the comments below. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.